Let's take some acrylic paints, paint brushes, palette knives, and let's learn some techniques. Let's start with an easy one. Dry brushing. Dip the brush in the acrylic paint, dab the excess away, and lightly paint back and forth almost at the surface of the substrate. It's best to use a flat brush with hard bristles. The effect will be better if the brush is more dry. Scraffito or as I like to call it, scratch-off technique. Paint a layer of acrylic paint onto the background. While the paint is still wet, use a pointy object to scratch off part of the paint to create designs. To get a better effect, add a layer of color first. Dry it well, and then add a second layer on top. Once you scratch off the second layer, you will see the layer underneath. Impasto technique. Impasto is a technique used by many artists. The effect is done with a palette knife to create thick strokes with the paint. The acrylic paint almost looks like paste, hence its name. Sponging. Sponging is one of the most common techniques to use with acrylics. It was commonly used in the past to create textures on walls. You can use any type of sponge by daubing it on a surface to create texture, like you see here. Resist techniques. There's so many oily substances that can resist acrylics because they're water-based. The first one, I'm using Vaseline and I'm just applying it with my finger on the background. The second one, I'm using oil pastels, but you can also use kids crayons. Then you paint over them with acrylics and dry it well. We used to do this crayon technique in kindergarten. Once dry, you can remove the paint as it resists the background. I have a whole video dedicated to these techniques linked above. Resin techniques with acrylics are some of my favorites. Using stencils. Using stencils on my project is one of my favorite techniques with acrylics. You can either sponge the paint onto the stencil to create a pattern or add it with a palette knife. Either way you will get an amazing pattern in the background. Stamping. Along with stenciling you can do stamping. You can either use a brayer to add paint to the stamp or dip the stamp into the paint and then use it to create a pattern. I'm using a foam stamp, but you can also use a clear or rubber stamp as well. Drips and splatters. Drips and splatters are one of the easiest and most favorite techniques I use with acrylics. For drips, all I do is add water to the paint and let it drip down the page or a canvas. For splatters, I use the same watered down mixture and splatter the background with a thin paintbrush. It's good to use a small paintbrush to create these splatters and they give a great effect. Creating texture with objects. One of the most fun techniques to do with acrylics is to create texture with objects. And I do this often in my projects. You can create circular patterns by dipping lids into paint and then using them as stamps or you can use textured objects like sticks to create lines and patterns. I'm sure you can find lots of things around the house to create very interesting patterns into your artwork. Modeling paste. Modeling paste is a great medium to combine with acrylic paint as it gives it great texture. You can use it as a 3D layer underneath the paint or through a stencil like I'm showing you here. While I let this dry, I want to show you two other similar things to modeling paste texture and crackle paste. They're very similar to modeling paste. The difference is that modeling paste is smooth while texture paste is gritty. So it creates a granulated texture on the background. Crackle paste creates a crackle looking texture on the background. I'm letting all four textures dry and then I paint on top of them with the acrylic paints. You can see the difference between each one of the four textures and how they would look on a painting here. Gel printing is one of my favorite techniques to do with acrylic paints. Although I'm showing you just a snippet of this art, it's hard to capture jelly printing techniques on such a small surface. It doesn't do it justice. In order for you to truly understand how acrylic paints shine on a gel plate, you need to see it on a larger scale. I've put a short playlist for you right here with some great videos that can teach you how to do gel printing with acrylic paints. See you there!